So hello everyone. Uh, very good morning to you all. Uh, I hope you are in good health and uh, staying at home, right? So I'm Shomati Bhattacharya, heading the integration uh, initiatives of Genesis to build a strong partner ecosystem around Genesis for at least uh, last couple of years, right? So today, as you all know, I'm going to present a very, very interesting and relevant topic. Currently in this crisis period, we all who contributes in this retail industry trying our various innovative initiatives to overcome these challenges. So one such initiative is moving from offline retail space to online. Some has a strong foothold already in this arena, but all, most of the players are still struggling to figure out uh, what to do and how to do. So today's session is mainly for them. So, so I divide my entire session into five parts. Uh, first one is the concept part where I will cover some basic and key understanding elements. Uh, then the online order process flow will cover some best practices. Uh, our integration approach. Uh, I will answer uh, some of the FAQs which I precisely collected during my numerous meetings and interviews. And last of all, a question answer session. So uh, my humble request to all of you, if you have any questions, please hold on till my FAQ session ends. After that, if you still have anything to ask, please put it in the Q&A section below. So I'll try to answer everyone, every of the questions, right? So before, any time let's start so let's start with the concept part I know most of you has many questions in your mind right now and it is quite obvious because you want to come back into your business like before as soon as possible so I list down few questions which are very common and important for you what options are available for online sale uh, how are the different what are the basic things to look at prior to decide for an option? What, how to manage products, how to fulfill online orders, how to set up my supply chain process, very important to ensure mini, maximum fulfillment of online orders, how to manage online payments, how to track online returns. Are there any relation between my online and offline sales channel, right? And how to give a unique and uniform experience to my customer across all my channels. These are very few questions and by very common questions, uh, which I just collected. Uh, so now, uh, how Genesis will help you? So Genesis can help you in multiple ways. First of all, we will guide you to understand all the technology solutions relevant for online sales. It's very important. We will give you helpful tips. We will provide information about best practices followed by experts. We will help you to understand various process flows related to online order management and fulfillment. We will provide you a connected ecosystem to enable your seamless online channel. They're very important aspect that we will talk today. And obviously, we are always with you as a core backbone of your business. So around Genesis, you have to build everything, right? So if you, if you talk about all the solutions that you are looking into, so you have to put Genesis in middle and think all of the, all of the applications, all of your solutions around it. So we will talk, talk about all these things today. So... Uh, making sense, right? So um, let's move uh, quickly to about the concept of some sales channels. So what are the sales channels available right now? So most of you have this idea, but uh, definitely we should start with this to make this uh, session more relevant. Now, uh, you got a brand or MBO or shops, uh, you are running your business and your business has uh, broadly divided into between two parts. One is your B2B uh, uh, and uh, another one is B2C, 
So B2B, your wholesale and outright sale, some of you has this kind of uh, channel. Some of you are not, uh, doesn't have this channel, but B2C is very common. And most of you has this B2C uh, channel already. Now, if I categorize B2C channel based on physicality, so one is offline, that is physical presence, and another one is online, that's virtual. So for offline, you have your uh, boss point of sale stores, physical shops, and for online, you have multiple choices. And one is your marketplace, another one, your company's own web stores or websites, and you can sell through social media as well. So these are the common practices right now following by most uh, all uh, good retailers to sell on this kind of online channel as well, along with your offline post system. So if I uh, currently focus on the website part of it, so let's talk about how you can easily create a website and what are the various things to look at it. So if I talk about your website or web store part, in this crisis period, you want to launch your web store immediately, right? So how to float your website, web store up and running? So how to float your web store or website? Uh, so you can build a website from scratch. So you can hire any uh, local or any uh, good uh, solution provider and you can build it from the scratch. Or you can build it using a ready framework. And obviously this is recommended by Genesis. So you should opt for this ready framework. Uh, I will tell why it is required. So these are the most common uh, uh, available uh, and cost-effective solutions available in the market for this ready framework. One is Magento, Shopify. I know you heard all, all these names, but there are new startups that is Zeppo and ZenCommerce. They are we're doing fine. WooCommerce is obviously just more, more or less maximum yeah, around 25% shares right now. So WooCommerce is there. So these are the most common commonly used uh, ready framework available. So our recommendation, obviously, go with this uh, uh, framework and build your website, uh, which can give you uh, a fantastic presence over internet and to your customers. So now if I talk about the main component of a web store, you should know what should your web store should contain. So what are the basic things you should consider before launching your web store? So uh, in web store, first of all, it should have a quick designing aspect. So website should have a very quick and easy way to change the look and feel whenever necessary. So it, is, it has to be very flexible uh, and adaptive, your website. And it has to be responsive device agnostic. So your website can open in your, in your in your laptop, in mobile, in tablet, anywhere, right? And it is very important to if you want to come uh, as an omni, omni players, I will talk this thing later on. So website designing is a very, very important aspect. Then comes the catalog management, where you, you uh, describe your products, you capture or gather all the images, you uh, uh, populate all the prices of the product, you create all the deals, offers, and also the recommendation engine works here. So catalog management is very, very important aspect and it's the basic uh, foundation to build a website. The, the framework or the solution that we're looking into has to have a very, very uh, flexible and robust catalog management. Now, you should have an order booking facility where the stock availability will show and based on the stock availability, order will be booked your cart management, your wishlist management, customer wishlist management, customer identification, you should register your customers and take payments and obviously the notification to the customers. So all these things, are, all these are part of order booking facility. Then comes the order allocation part. Once the order is booked based on various options, based on stock availability or location proximity, this order should be sent to 
a multiple or single location based upon your policy to for fulfillment and there you have to reserve the stock and then the notification should send to the customer that yes your order uh, has been taken and is confirmed for fulfillment and within this many days your uh, shipment will arrive something like that so you have you you, you, you should have a very very uh, strong order allocation engine then comes the processing part so so to enable uh, uh, to to uh, gain most of uh, this online channel basically how you fulfill it how you are going to track the product that customers orders and how you are going to track your track the uh, particular product in your warehouse how you how you can quickly pick that product how you can quickly pack and uh, fix that uh, shipping levels and everything how you can track the delivery and shipment management so this is the very very important aspect for order delivery processing and obviously corresponding notification has to be there in parallel to uh, whatever you do right so customers should always be aware of what is actually happening in the back end so how you are fulfilling their your order so, uh, so the customer should know what is the status of my order right then the order return tracking and last of all the tax invoice creation so these are the basic and main components of a store. there are there, there there are multiple things other than this to for uh, for increasing your website traffic for increasing for for so seo uh, optimization so there are a lot of other marketing things right but i'm not uh, looking that part now so for me to launch a web store, these are the primary must have things you should have in your web store. Now let's see about some one, some options, right? Now, say for example, you have a warehouse, you have your, you have few of POS store, right? Offline POS system. And also you are launching your website, right? So if I, if I go a little deeper, so your warehouse and POS is looking after, your Genesis is looking at your warehouse and POS aspect. And your website, you are developing a portal, right? Based on the ready framework. And what Genesis can do, we can bridge these two applications seamlessly. And what are the areas where we are uh, bridging these applications, bridging these two applications. First of all, the item master part, which will go directly to your catalog. Actually, the product that you are registering, the attribute that you are capturing in Genesis will be a little bit different than you are capturing in your portal, right? For your website. So in our in your catalog management. So basically that catalog whatever attributes or whatever description you capture is basically customer facing. So you should be very, very, uh, uh, it's very important to look about what cap data you are showing, what data you are capturing in the catalog as an item attributes. Your description has to be very proper, descriptive. Uh, uh, so it is little different. So in general, we will uh, synchronize the most used uh, attributes from Genesis to your portal, but uh, it will not end there. You might have to uh, create uh, different attributes or different description part later on in the catalog management itself, which is which will not be there in the Genesis. Next part is the site was available stock, which goes directly to your order processing, right? So one, you do, if you don't have stock, the order uh, the order will not take place. So you cannot. Uh, take orders if you don't have stock. So, so for order fulfillment, order taking aspect, order booking part, you should have this. So we will sync site-wise available stock to order processing engine. And the tax invoice, what this website and portal will generate, we will take back in retail invoice section and fulfillment by seller options, right? So just look out look look this uh, arrow say I sign so item master and this stock movie genesis will send to portal but tax invoice genesis will take from portal right so these are the three 
basic touch points the, through which we can bridge these two applications and Genesis and the portal. Now, if I uh, go back to this web component part, web store component, these are the three areas where we are bridging between Genesis and portal. So in the product descriptions, this part is, uh, we can send that, uh, we can sync, synchronize this part, we, sorry, uh, they, they are not cart management, it seems to be the stock availability part, and the tax invoice creation. Now, if we talk about option two, so now you are going to open another online channel other than your web store, right? Say for marketplace. Now you are going to sell in Amazon or Flipkart or something like that. In this option, you might think Genesis will integrate with all different marketplaces, right? Sorry to say, we are not. So we are not going to integrate with different, different marketplaces. So being, uh, so being a Genesis user, how you will manage your marketplace, right? Option is through an aggregator OMS. So, even in this option, Genesis will not talk directly to your web server that we are doing it previously. So, if you have option one, that means apart from your offline presence, you are just creating your website to sell your product. You are not using marketplace options. In that case, we can easily integrate with your portal with these three touch points. And we can easily uh, uh, go, go live with, with your portal immediately. But if you, if you are opening multiple options, multiple channels uh, in your online uh, space, if they, say for example, your website, your marketplaces and different, different marketplaces, then you should have an aggregate and an OMS in between Genesis and your online channel. Now you can ask me why aggregated OMS is required. Why not Genesis do it all for me, right? Then you should know what an aggregated OMS does. Okay, so you should know the importance of aggregated OMS. So, they take common inventory from Genesis and virtualize to multiple online channels, including your web store. So if one piece sold in one marketplace, then stock of all the channels get reduced automatically. So it's a fantastic seamless integrations that is already pre-built with numerous marketplace uh, across all online channels. So all it is already integrated with those indicator OMS. So we should, so no development effort, no, so you don't have to uh, spend any effort in that development aspect. It's all pre-integrated. They will reserve the stock. Okay, so suppose you have stock of 100 piece for a product, if once something sells, 10 piece sells, then next time they will take only order of 90 pieces, not the 100 pieces, they will reserve the stock. Even, if you opt for an FBA, right? FBA means fulfillment by Amazon kind of options, fulfillment arrangement with your uh, marketplace, then aggregator can sync that stock also from your marketplace and show it real time in aggregator panel. They provide a common console to manage all your orders across all your channels. So these are fantastic uh, options in front of you where you don't have to go and log to different, different marketplace uh, admin panels and processing the fulfillment or processing the orders. So you, should, you will have a single console where all the orders from different marketplaces will be fetched and show it in one panel. And from there, you can easily fulfill each and every marketplace orders. They can also route your orders in different location as per stock availability and location proximity. This is very important for a fulfillment optimization and obviously, uh, to optimize your uh, logistic cost. Common order fulfillment workflow across all online channels. So I, I know you, some of you knows that 
if you if you want to fulfill, if you want to process an order, start to end in Flipkart, it, it will take around five steps. But if you uh, do it, do the same thing in Amazon, it might take four steps. So there are different different uh, technology. There are different different uh, flow, workflows in a different marketplaces as well as there are uh, different nomenclatures of different processes right for uh, across all the marketplaces so if it says a step called uh, xyz but in in the, the same process in amazon might be it, 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 amazon might call it abc right but if you if you fulfill it through through your aggregator the entire workflow is common for all the marketplaces. They will come to, with a three-step uh, order processing flow and all the three steps are uh, uh, common for all your marketplaces. So this is a very, very uh, easy to learn and easy to use and your user who will fulfill my multiple marketplaces at the same point of time. See, the major challenge nowadays for marketplace fulfillment is the to is to uh, uh, maintain the SLA right. So if you don't maintain, if, if there is an SLA breach, then they levy heavy penalty on the on the sellers right. So you have to work to uh, to optimize your SLA process, and for that you need to quickly uh, deliver, quickly fulfill your marketplace orders. For that, this aggregator OMS will give you uh, a fantastic option. Now uh, they will manage your delivery management and tracking order, order tracking. So they have all pre-integrated uh, delivery options like DHL and ship it, ship rockets and a lot of others uh, delivery courier companies. And they have a unique payment reconciliation uh, concept as well, where you can easily reconcile all your marketplace payment reconciliations. This is very very handy uh, in terms of seller to because it's a very very uh, painful job and very time taking job as well. Now if I talk about again, come to the main component of the web store. Now if you, apart from your web store, if you are selling with a marketplace and you also uh, take, uh, you also use an aggregator, then this entire right side portion, the block portion will be used. So aggregator with OMS will replace this part and in your web store, then this part is not necessary. So you can create your web store only with the left hand, left side components. So if your website design, catalog, and order booking will enough to build a website if you have an OB aggregator web, right? So in that aspect, you don't have to pay to your uh, web store managers, web store creators for this order allocation, order processing, tax invoice generation kind of thing. So this all be taken care of by the aggregator OMS. So I hope uh, you can understand uh, why it is so important to have an aggregator OMS if you are selling it in multiple channels uh, in online space. Now let's uh, check some of the process flows and uh, it is mostly used by uh, good players and uh, these are best practices that, we, that, that are followed for order fulfillment. And obviously uh, the sing uh, inventory and uh, product sharing aspect. So if I talk about this uh, Genesis and your OMS partners, so it's in OMS partners means uh, your web store or a mark aggregator OMS. So now in, in Genesis, in back office or in warehouse, any item that you create or any modification of an old item, Genesis will capture events and it will be pushed to the product catalog of OMS. Similarly, any stock movement changes happens in the back office, that event is going to be captured in Genesis and also the changes, the stock movement happened in point of sale stores that will also be captured in head office and will be pushed 
as a product inventory to OMS channel. So in this way, these two outbound data, these two data that Genesis uh, will provide to your OMS partner. It may be a aggregated OMS or a web store. Next comes the fulfillment aspect. So I, in here I am taking, uh, I, I took an example of two things. One is uh, if, you, if, if order is booked from your e-com portal and also with the same website, say some, some customers walk into your custom, uh, into your physical shops and some, some uh, product or some size or some design is not available then you can easily hand over a tab where your website is open and you can easily say to your customer, please choose from your from the website and we can deliver it to your doorstep. So this is a save the sale or you can say endless aisle. There are a lot of names in it. So I am giving this example in two ways. So uh, you can book the orders or a customer walks in in your point of sale. So if you, a customer walks into a point of sale, select products and brands in in-store app. In-store app means uh, it can be app or it can be your website or web store opened in a tablet, right? So the so customer book orders in brand in-store app, order created. And from the e-com portal also, the order can be created. Now, this OMS will allocate auto allocate to store based on stock availability and the notification sent to the respective store that you see you have an order so it can, might happen that one order if say if for example one order has four items based on the stock ability it can be split and go to two different locations for fulfillment it is it can be done as per if you choose this kind of policy that it can be done by the OMS then the delivery order will be generated delivery order for each and every fulfillment locations if it is fulfilled from one location then one delivery order if it is fulfilled from two locations one order is fulfilled from two different locations then two delivery order will be generated and that delivery order will then be confirmed by the store person right now the notification is uh, will be sent to the store person store person knows what to uh, pack they will go to the rack check the product with and say whether it is in sellable condition or not based on that they will confirm the delivery order and they generate a tax invoice in the oms panel itself so in your point of sale store you have genesis box as well as you have to have the oms panel itself for online fulfillment so there's a clear segregation between offline and online. So store person should know when to fulfill from what solution. For any working customer in your shops, they will create invoice in Genesis Post. For any online orders fulfillment, they need to create tax invoice in your in OMS panel. Now, once the tax invoice created, then it is it will be automatically push to Genesis back office and uh, Genesis will create a fulfillment by seller document where the stock will be reduced, your channel account will be debited and customer will be created in a repository. So Genesis will maintain a common repository of all your online and offline customers. So now if some customers newly registered in your online shop, online website, website and after a successful order fulfillment if that customer came to your come to your physical shop then the same customer can be re, uh, retrieved and the offline post can bill for that same customer itself so uh, with for a single customer you can book the online orders as well as your offline orders and if this this fulfillment is done from warehouse then it will stay, this document will stay in black office, but if it is fulfilled from store, then through an auto sync mechanism, it will be pushed to the post del delivery store and an online sales document will be created. So the store stock will reduce from the point of sale store. You know that we keep store stock in the point of sale database, point of, point of sale software itself in decentralized way. So 
if the stock is reduced in head office then it has to be reduced in the point of sale also so uh, delivery store will reduce the stock based on the auto sync of this online document now what happens is once the once it is created so once a customer now there two thing can happen a logistic 3pl partner or logistic partner can come at a fixed time to pick up the orders or if it is a click and collect order say uh, customers click it uh, book the orders in online and want to take it from the offline shop then your customer uh, so customer pick up orders it can be handed over to your customer or handed over to your 3pl partners before that they have to create a manifest generation level fix level and they can create it from the oms panel itself so this is how a fulfillment happens generally typically for your uh, omni orders or your uh, website orders so with now your website is actually working in your both the channels omni channels as well as so save the sell or endless aisle channels as well as your uh, e-com portal channel now if i discuss about the customer return workflow so this is very important to understand the customer return workflow uh, now a uh, order can be cancelled by customer so now uh, oms will see will check whether respective delivery order marked for cancellation then delivery order whether it is shipped or not if it is not shipped then they will cancel it and refund to the customer right but if it's shipped then it will allocate this delivery order to the rto or warehouse as per policy now what is rto is return to origin so it's a it's a concept where uh, the fulfillment store will get back the return product first this is the return from origin option so who the store who fulfills the order for return it will came back to the store it fulfillment store itself so this is return to origin now based on that return to origin orders when the product actual the product comes in they will check whether it is any returning conditions returnable conditions or not if it is a good condition then they will generate a return tax invoice from the oms channel oms uh, portal once it is generated when the tax invoice return tax invoice generated genesis will take that return tax invoice and create a fulfillment by seller return document where the delivery center stock increased it can be a store or warehouse and your channel will be credited with the balance amount so this is the thing so so uh, for sales invoice as well as for return on both the cases we are taking the invoice final invoice from the aggregator or oms we are not taking orders just keep this in mind we are not taking orders we keep uh, the fulfillment part to uh, that oms panel so we we we, we don't uh, take anything in between order to invoice everything will be there in the oms part we are, we are taking only the finance final invoice just to impact our stock and accounts and uh, obviously if the payment is received then if it is a prepaid order then nothing to refund if it is a already payment received then refund to customer will be initiated and also if if the rto is for store then from ho it will be auto sync to your delivery store itself and the store stock will get increased in the sale process store stock reduced and for return it will increase if it is a good stock so now uh, in this way uh, the act, typically a uh, fulfillment happens uh, uh, order can be fulfilled and return return can be processed right now let's talk about our approach so what is our approach so our approach for web web store integration is very clear 
we have a standard integration kit available to integrate with any web store. What is this kit contains? It contains two notifiers for item sharing and inventory sharing and one API to take the invoice. So your web store or OMS can easily push the invoice to Genesis. So this kit contains only these three things and with these three things, the entire process can be mapped and you can easily launch your web store very easily. And we, we uh, support this REST API, JSON communication methodology. So if you, if you're not so that much technical and if some technical company, so some technology person is doing uh, this session or managing your portal, then they might ask you this question. So in what methodology Genesis will communicate to me? So you can easily answer that uh, Genesis will communicate with REST API in JSON structure. The standard kit integration takes around 15 to 20 man days effort without any customization. So it all depends upon how, how, how we, uh, our, your partner is giving the priority. So if they give the priority, then within 10, 15 days, it can be done. And in maximum time, I can say it's 15 to 20 days without any customization. Only this, you can, we can integrate this kit with your web store. Provided your web store has to have all those main components that we talked about. Now about uh, the approach of aggregation OMS, we already pre-integrated solution is already available for Winculum, Unicommerce and Find. So Genesis already built the plugins, uh, ready plugins for these three uh, widely accepted and used aggregator OMS. Ready to deploy plugins available following touch points. The same touch point here will is followed by here all as well. No additional integration effort required for straightforward implementation. Only deployment and configuration effort required, which usually takes around two to three days. Quickly and easily, we can go live. So it's very easy if you have an OMS, and obviously if the if you uh, if you take uh, the service of these three OMS that I am talking to. That aggregator OMS, Winculum, Unicommerce, fine. Then we can go live within two to three days. Not an, not an issue. Not. Let's show you some reports in Genesis before going to the Q and A section. So these are uh, finance accounts by Subledger report where you can see is the CC Ecom CC Avenue uh, uh, ledger is showing where the opening debit credit closing value is showing. If you click on the Ecom CC Avenue. You can see there's an account by subledgers where the, all the subledgers is showing with the and all the invoice that OMS will push through that ecom CC Avenue channel code, it will all be there in the ledger. So if you click on any of the, the entry entry number, it will show you the retail sale document. What are the ledgers impacted in it and everything, right? And if any adjustment happens, so what happens is that invoice will come on from the come from the OMS and after fortnightly settlement from the channel or, or the monthly settlement when you got the payment you have to create a ARAP voucher so so receive voucher right in receive voucher whenever you get the receive voucher they will say this this in this payment is for this, this this invoice based on that you have to create a receive voucher from for that channel and you need to adjust all the invoices on for in with that payment so for, so, so that it can it can uh, reduce your outstanding balances for that channel in point of sale uh, in daily summary report you will get an online fulfillment option where if you check this then then the report will show like this so online fulfillment summary you will you will get in your daily summary reports how much sale, how much return, what is the net sale, everything. In POS analytics, there is a, a, a different online sale report where all the sale of our online sales are showing here. What are the sales, what are the returns, everything. Uh, this is the same uh, reports available in, for, in daily summary report. In sales stock report, uh, the, the sale quantity online fulfillment included so sale quantity will combine your offline and online sale 
in your sales talk report to, to give a accurate sales report, right?